Oh my god, what's really happening guys? First of all, welcome back to Shrey FC. I hope you all are well and you're good. Please do hit the like and subscribe and support really means a lot guys. But what's really going on? What is going on? The last two days have been incredible guys. The Premier League football has been back today we know but also the last some days have been incredible guys. Especially yesterday you can say somewhat now in Indian time Friday. It's been absolutely incredible. Every time you need a new update I have been waiting to make a video so apologize I should have made a video but the updates have been going quick and fast and I was thinking oh now video, oh now video, oh can I say to Liverpool, oh can I say to Chelsea, oh love you to Chelsea. It's been absolutely humongous and now it looks like Chelsea might get both Casero and we might get Lavia as well. Incredible times as fans, incredible times for going on Chelsea and we have hijacked the hijackers, we have hijacked the Liverpool deal. My thoughts are going to follow guys, do hit the like and subscribe and please support the channel and do put your opinion in the comment section. So guys, coming on to Caicedo, we all know we've been after Caicedo since January when we went for Enzo Fernandez. He has been a main target since May. We started off with 70 million offer which Brighton rejected, then it went to 80. Because nobody was really interested at that time at Caicedo, Arsenal went for Rice, United were not going for him. So we had a clear hand, so we were a bit, I will say, naive and complacent. And Liverpool caught in, suddenly from nowhere, Liverpool, a club that doesn't spend money, a manager who says that we, this is destroying football, someone is paying 100 for Pogba, they go with 110 million for Moses Caicedo and suddenly that's not wrong. And we were all stunned and thinking, now man, wow, Moses Caicedo to Liverpool, Romeo Lavia only left for Chelsea, less experience than Caicedo, it's going to be a tough season facing Liverpool, oh my god, but no, Chelsea came in, Todd Bully Iqbal it took over the negotiations from Paul with Stanley and said, we are the boss now and we all know, when Todd Bully and Iqbal is step in, there's no word has said no and Chelsea said, we'll match the Liverpool offer, Caicedo said, I want to play for Chelsea, Chelsea is a team I want to play for and Chelsea is a team I want to sign for and that was good to see because I believe Pochettino has had some good words for Caicedo, we are the club that's been really going heavily for Caicedo and he has stayed true to his word and now he wants to come to Chelsea and that was a big killer blow for Liverpool now and it looks like the deal is off and if we can end up with Caicedo and Lavia, both of them, we get two fantastic midfielders, two very young midfielders. Caicedo more ready, Lavia a very good future prospect and also another good midfielder. Then we have Enzo Caicedo and Lavia play together in a 4 3 3 due to Nkoku's injury. We have Andre Santos along with that as well. We still have a Castle We have signed Leslie Yugo Check. If I pronounced their name wrong, I'm very, very sorry. Our future in midfield is really, really sorted. Caicedo works like a glue in our midfield. He's a player that really covers all of the ground. He wins the ball. He helps us in playing the possession base and allows Enzo a lot of freedom, Lavia can play as a DM, allow us play from the back and Caicedo Enzo can do the things up forward, Caicedo can be the defensive box to box where he can be attacking but also defensive and Enzo can have the whole freedom to do anything he wants, he can play as a Mazella, he can play as a box to box and Chelsea's creativity is going to be off the charts, our midfield is going to be off the charts and biggest thing is our rivals are not getting any one of them, neither Caicedo, neither Lavia and I'm sorry as much as Liverpool attack is one of the best in the league, if you have an empty midfield there's no chance you can be in the top four. And with both Caicedo and Lavia, we have a massive chance to be in the top four this season. Massive signing by Todd Bowling in Bali. Massive sense of intent. And I think what they're doing is the right thing. Lavia for 52 million is a very good deal for such a young guy. And for Caicedo, I know we are overpaying. I know this is a big amount. But when you want a player, when a player wants to come to you, when a player suits your system and the way the times are going right now, you have to overpay. Once Chelsea sign Caicedo and Lavia, we qualify for Champions League two or three seasons in a row. That all money will be covered. Chelsea back in the top that all money will be covered by some sponsorships and sometimes for top players in the world you have to pay that money and along with that I believe now sadly Conor Gallagher will slowly leave Chelsea because if Chelsea want Olise to replace Nkuku because right now Chukomek is still very young Chelsea will try to sell Conor Gallagher for some money and sadly it looks like to raise some money for the Lavia transfer Conor might be sold but I'm not sure on that but Lavia and Caicedo coming in big like you can say thumbs up to Chelsea both Todd Bully Barney and also a uh, massive insult for me for Liverpool. It's not insult on missing on Caicedo. Okay, he was Chelsea's preferred target to lose on him. But for Liverpool to not even sign Lavia will be a problem. That's why sometimes as fans it's important to not immediately react because you can look like a bit of like a fun. A lot of Liverpool fans suddenly went FSG in when they were out. Like that was stunning. How can you start praising FSG then before criticizing them? 
and I believe that's the way. I still believe FSG are a bit of problem with Liverpool. They've done some very good things, but also they are some problem with Liverpool. Why they did not get Lavia earlier? Forget this Caicedo deal. Yes, they cannot out muscle Chelsea financially. Yes, they cannot go over 110 million. But why have they not paid 50 for Lavia and got him right now at Liverpool's training ground playing in the first game? That's a massive blunder by Liverpool and they're facing the price for that. For Chelsea, a massive deal, great sign. And we are going into the season very well, guys. Please, I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. The support really means a lot. Thank you. Wishing you all the best. Big love to you all. Please uh, like and subscribe and please support the channel. Thank you.